The brood X cicadas are here in East Tennessee. Now these bugs are starting to crawl out from their 17 year hiding spot underground. Now some of you are asking if the bugs in your yard are these special cicadas. One viewer sent us this photo wondering if it is a brood X cicada, even though it's white. Now we shared it with experts at the University of Tennessee and their answer is yes, it is. Scientists say adult cicadas are soft and white initially, but quickly become harder and darker. And many of you are also spotting brown brood X cicadas. Liz Sherrod sent us this photo of a cicada on top of another bug in Farragut. And Sharon Quarles sent us this photo of a couple of cicadas on a plant in the Carnes area. We want to see more of your cicada photos. Show us what the bug invasion looks like in your life. Are they starting to cover your yard or changing how you spend time outdoors? Send us your photos 865-637-1010. And these cicadas will be in a, almost every Tennessee county. But how do you know if they will invade your neighborhood? That's the question. Yeah, 10 News reporter Shannon Smith explains. The cicadas are coming, but where exactly? There are a few ways to tell if they'll be showing up in your yard, and they have a lot to do with trees. One of the surefire ways to know is if brood 10 emerged on your property 17 years ago. Uh, if the trees are the same, um, then you would expect that those cicadas would have survived and they will be emerging. So what if you used to have trees, but now they're gone? But now they're a strip mall or a parking lot or something like that, or, or a housing development. And in those cases, there may be uh, more limited emergencies. But that doesn't deter them completely. Data from the last Brood 10 emergence in 2004 showed the cicadas in every county in our area, except for Claiborne. UT scientists predict the cicadas will be back in all those counties in some capacity this year. If you haven't seen them already, Get ready, the cicadas are on their way. In Knoxville, I'm Shannon Smith. And as these cicadas begin to cover your yard, here's some good news. Cicadas make our planet better. Cicadas are actually very beneficial to us. They're the natural part of our ecosystem. But remember, they're underground, these periodical cicadas, for 17 years. So they're aerating the soil. They're providing tremendous benefit there. Once they emerge, they're, they're food source for a tremendous number of animals, mainly for birds. When the cicadas die, they add a lot of nitrogen to the soil, which then helps other organisms. Plus, these bugs are a natural tree pruner, which is great unless you do have young trees in your yard. It might sound crazy though, but yes, people do eat cicadas. Some say they actually taste like asparagus, really. Others say they taste like shrimp and still others say they taste like almonds, but not everyone should try this delicacy. If you are allergic to shellfish, uh, please do not eat uh, insects, do not eat cicadas because they're very closely related to uh, shrimp, to lobsters, to crabs. But if you enjoy those, foods, then you should enjoy insects as well. Good news, bugs are pretty healthy. They weigh, they're high in protein, they're very low in fat, low in cholesterol, and they're also gluten free. And there's no doubt these cicadas will be loud and probably a little annoying, but the good news is they're not harmful to you or your furry friends. Cicadas are not harmful to people or pets. They do not uh, bite. Uh, they do not uh, sting. They're not poisonous or toxic to us. Uh, they do make a sound, and if pets overeat them, and get, they may get upset stomachs. Experts say it may be a good idea to supervise pets while they're outside to make sure they don't eat too many cicadas. If they do, they will likely vomit them up. If your pet vomits several times, you should take them to the vet. Coming up on 10 News at 6, we'll tell you what to do with cicadas after they die. Plus, find out if they could bring more copperheads to your yard. And you can see all of our Brood X cicada coverage right now online. That includes how loud they are, if they will impact your garden, and if pest control can help prevent the invasion. That's all on WBIR.com and the WBIR YouTube page.